Welcome to TestRail's administration and customization training video. Before we get started, please note the administration area in TestRail is only accessible by users that have specific administrator permissions and not by standard users. When you first enter the administration menu, in the main area you'll see the overview page, which offers some information about your TestRail installation at the top, including the currently installed version and details about the TestRail background task, which is responsible for sending email notifications, generating reports, and checking for new versions. Below those, you'll see links to the different sections within the administration menu along with descriptions of what you can find there. To the right, there is also a quick access sidebar for you to easily navigate to the desired section. If you click on the Users and Roles tab on the sidebar, you can see and edit all of your users, user groups, and user roles. The user roles define the permissions granted to each user and determine which specific parts of TestRail they'll be able to interact with. TestRail comes with some pre-configured user roles, such as read-only, tester, designer, and lead. Each of these roles will have different capabilities within the tool, allowing them to add, edit, and delete your test cases, milestones, and runs or plans, and more. By clicking on a user's name, you can view and update specific details about the user, such as their name and email address, default time zone, and more. Each user can also configure these details for themselves under their profile settings. Moving to the Access tab, we can update the user's role, mark them as active or inactive, which ties into our billing system, or make them an administrator. When viewing a user's profile, on the right side of the sidebar, you will also see the option to force them to change their password when they next log in, and an option to forget this user, which will obscure all identifying information about that user and mark them as inactive. Back on the main Users and Roles page, TestRail also offers the option of creating user groups. User groups are great for larger teams or freelance testing teams and allow you to set up different groups for your specific project teams or external users, such as your clients. These are particularly useful for granting blanket permissions to users within a group for specific projects. Which brings us to the next tab in the administration area, Projects. On this page, the administrator can add or edit the projects contained in your system. When editing a project, an administrator can go to the Access tab to limit the permissions of specific users or groups for that project by updating their project permissions to a specific role. The roles defined in the project will override the global roles you have set up for them in the Users and Roles tab. Under the Defects and References tabs in a project, you can also configure a project-specific issue or defect tracker integration. Although there is a separate tab for your global integration, you can overwrite these settings for a specific project. This is very useful for teams that use different issue or defect tracking tools in each of their projects. Now let's head to the Integration tab. We previously discussed setting up an integration in a separate video, and it is recommended to watch that if you are interested in integrating TestRail with Jira, Utrack, GitHub, or any other issue and defect tracking tool. You can also find some helpful links in the video description to our documentation on how to configure an integration with all of the different defect trackers TestRail currently supports. Another thing you can do from the administration page is go to the site settings and configure various global system settings, such as the installation name, default time zone, language, and the different directories your installation will use if you are on TestRail server. If you are using TestRail Cloud, some of the settings on this page, such as the email server settings, are automatically managed for you. There are several settings available in the different tabs in this section, and we'd highly recommend exploring the various options here to manage important security settings, user interface tweaks, and enable the API. For more information regarding the API, you can take a look at the links in the video description. Now let's take a look at the customization menu. TestRail is built with flexibility in mind, and you can customize various aspects of your TestRail instance. The primary use for this page will be to add your own custom fields for your test cases and results. These custom fields can help you track additional information regarding your test. Now let's add a new custom field to demonstrate the process. 
For this example, a new status for managing the approval of a test case will be added. This approval status would allow the user to select a single status for a case. These statuses will be draft, approved, and inactive. After naming the field, the next step is selecting the field type. A drop-down menu would be the best type for this specific custom field. Now it is time to assign this custom field to one or multiple projects. By default, custom fields will be added to all available projects. However, you can select to add them only for specific projects you have created. Now let's add the different statuses of this custom field in the Options tab and select a default value. With that added, if we open a test case in which the custom field is present, we can see the new field is available to use. In addition to creating custom fields, you can use the Customizations page to change the options available in various system fields, like test case types, priority, and results statuses. The last thing a user can do here is add UI scripts to customize various aspects of TestRail, including the appearance and behavior. You can use simple JavaScript and CSS to change smaller things like TestRail's color scheme or logos, or for implementing more complex customizations like adding automation triggers to start an external script or tool. That's all for now. In the next video, you will learn all about TestRail's Enterprise Edition.